In the last episode, we left you in the beautiful city of Nazare, where we said goodbye to Hilda, Lila and Renee and said hello to Nicola and Stephanie. <music> Stephanie and Nicola are not sailors, but they have a lot of other qualities. And they are going to sail with us from Nazare to the coast of Algarve. <laughs> Stephanie and Nikolai are gonna sail the boat today. That's the plan. After stopping one night in Peniche to sleep on our way from Nazare to Lisbon, we continued on towards Cascais, where we arrived early in the afternoon and met some new friends. The coastline from Cascade to Lisbon is really stunning and the nature is just so pretty. So we sailed off early in the morning, very early, towards Oras Marina and we got to see the famous sunrise over Lisbon. Kan I se, det er lige deroppe, Kane. Prøv at kigge op, du kan se, hvor vi skal hen. Ja. Der er kun 100 meter op, direkte. <laughs> Hvad er det for en fisk? Det er en fisk, du er meget sejere. From Oires, we took a day trip to Sintra Natural Park with our new friends. And the beautiful park is like right out of a fairy tale. And after hiking all the way up the mountain, we risked our lives on a faster way down. Visiting the huge city of Lisbon, we decided to buy a guided tour in a tuk-tuk to learn about some of the history and cover more ground since I'm not able to walk the city a full day. We learned that the mix of cultures comes from being founded by the Serks, conquered by Greeks, by Romans, by Muslims, by Christians, then by Napoleon, the British and so on. On the Roman time? Uh, no, Moorish time. Oh, Moorish time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's after the Roman, before the Catholic came in. Yeah. In 1755, a large part of the city was destroyed in an earthquake and later rebuilt. Lisbon really has an interesting history. <laughs> Emma and Olivia joined us in Oiras and we sailed on towards the coast of Algarve. Torben promised us a calm start, so I was cooking dinner. It's crazy. We are going to the coast of Algarve. Status on the first hour of our trip to uh, Algarve. We came into some pretty rough seas, so we just threw everything in there because everything was falling down. 
and a few people forgot to close the windows so now it isn't so bad in here the mattresses isn't so bad anymore but all the blankets and pillows were totally soaked this will be fun when we if we get to sleep tonight so yeah good times sailing the Atlantic coast what's not to love a few seasick people up here there's one and two and three and four people not feeling too well and then me also not feeling too well but look at this this is beautiful so another fine day on the Atlantic coast <laughs> I'm not talking to you. <laughs> this is the way we bring our clothes early. Wednesday morning. About 24 hours later, we rounded the corner around Sacres and we stopped to have a swim in the calmer water. Er der nogen, der ikke er klar? Nej, alle er klar! Så er der sgu vask! Så er der bællesvask! Op med arme, så vi får vask ud af We sailed on to Portimao when Nicola and Stephanie left us and while Torben was giving Emma her dinghy lessons, I went to the hospital to get some MRI scans and some medical examinations. On the other side of the river across from Portimao, the city is just lovely, it's so pretty and the beach is full of big and small caves and rocks that the kids can explore. Are you afraid of the other side? No, it's not afraid of the other side. 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 Yeah, it's out to where all the flowers are. Jeg går igen, jeg skal gå. Oh, don't you? Jeg kan ikke nå mig herinde, far. Nej. <laughs> Hvad er der? Ikke noget, det griner mig af dig. Fordi jeg er herinde? Ja. Yeah. With a four-day sail to the Canary Islands ahead of us, we spent some time to teach Emma and Olivia how to sail the boat. And then Torben, Jess and Martin took the girls out to celebrate Olivia's birthday. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm having a bad pain day, I have to stay back on the boat and relax while the others go explore. And then they can have some dad time. I can feel a conversation with myself. I can see. Hi! Hey! We met two Danish kids boats who, like us, were headed for the Canary Islands and we spent a lot of time with them, having a lot of fun. And watching the kids just run around having so much fun on the beach was exactly what we were hoping for and dreaming for back in the cold winters in Denmark. Yeah. 
En hvad? Lanterner med. Ja. Et bål. Kan vi ikke tage lige til en gummibåd? Ikke morges. Sweet home Alabama Where the skies are to blue Sweet home Alabama Lord, I'm coming home to you First night shift is over on the crossing to the to the Canary Islands I'm making coffee for the tired people it's tricky because we're rolling a lot. Day two on the crossing to the Canary Islands. The waves are like two meters or something. And people are tired after the first night shift. Hi. Hi. I'm not tired. No, you're not tired. You slept all night. We had the sails up all night, but uh, we just took them down now because the wind was uh, dropping a lot. So, uh, turn on the engine. Hopefully, we can turn it off and put the sails back up soon. What was the issue? And there was a bolt loose on it. On oh, the oh, and the generator? So it didn't have the right contact? That's why I was uh, giving off sparks and getting really, really red hot. Yeah. And you fixed it? Yeah. That's perfect. Now we're charging. Now we're charging. The trip's been pretty smooth. We've been having a... Uh, no wind and no a lot wind of wind. And a lot of wind, yeah. So we've been motoring and we've been uh, setting Same. sails and then we've been taking down the sails. And, and then I sail. And then I took up a butterfly, and then I took down the butterfly, and then I put the sails to the starboard, and then I put the sails to the yeah. port, and then we took let's it down, and then we took it up again. Let's just say the wind hasn't been as expected, but that's uh, what it is. That's uh, how it's been since we started sailing the Atlantic coast, basically. But uh, we've been just hanging out, and uh, on day two, I think, people were starting feeling better. And, and then... Day, day three, if we start fixing th things and drinking colas. Yeah, and uh, today I made pancakes. That was also a hit. So all in all, it's been a good trip. We are expecting to see land soon. We are pretty happy. The sun's been shining the whole way. Yeah, nice crossing. Nothing broke that we couldn't fix. No, the generator broke. We're told we fixed it again. All in all, good. Look at this. Not too bad at all. just had dinner and the sun is setting soon and we are off the coast of Lanzarote in a lovely anchor spot where the water is crystal clear and 24-25 degrees warm what's not to love? Cava de los Verdes, a 7 km long and 3,000 year old lava tube. Throughout history, the population of the island used to hide in the cave from pirates and slave raiders. I would definitely recommend a visit, I found it really fascinating. After five days of driving around Lanzarote, we got to see most of the islands, like the lava tube, the cozy small towns, the big national park, and we walked inside this volcanic crater. It's such a unique island. In the next episode, we sail to Rubicon on the other end of Lanzarote 
where Isabella learns how to dive before we sail on to Gran Canaria. Thank you for watching. See you next time.